I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we are C3 DF going for a drive. Two thousand eighteen Lexus RC three fifty all wheel drive F Sport. Kind of slower than I thought it'd be. It's not the fastest. This is definitely not a sports car. So if you think of it like a sports car, you will be disappointed. Grand touring car. This is a grand touring car. Okay. And it's an amazing looking grand touring car. Definitely, probably one of the best looking cars of all time. I one hundred percent agree. Okay, let's get into the good stuff right away. Visor test. Yes, Lexus visor test. We've done some Toyota ones, but Three, not a Lexus one. Three, two, one. Yes! Ah, you yes, know, Lexus! You know what that means. That means you got to share this video with your friends because it passed. That's the visor test, subscription, share, break. You tell them why we do that test, and you get them to watch the video. All right, horsepower and torque. It's a 2018, so it gets a little bit of a power bump from 2017. 311 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Out of what kind of engine? 3.5 liter V6 that's been around for a very long time. But they keep refreshing it and it's still relevant, but it's not quite up to spec with all the other competitors. Do you have any experience with this engine from the past? I do actually. Oh, I really? used to own an IS350, a 2006, and I currently still own an Lexus ISF, and I also own a Lexus GS430. So wait, 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 wait. Are you a, a Lexus guy? I'm an older Lexus guy, as I said in the GS430 video. Now Shout you're out. now you're an unbiased journalist. That's right. All right. And I will assess this for what it is. So there's a difference between F and F Sport, right? Huge difference. And it's really confusing and I don't like that Lexus did that. RCF, ISF, GSF, LFA, those are all really cool, really powerful, crazy cars. The F Sports are the ones that kind of look like they are, but don't get the engines. Kind of like M divisions? No, exactly, because that's where it gets confusing. So the M performance stuff, they actually get horsepower bumps, exhaust, stuff like that. The F Sports don't, they just look different. So they look better. It's like ordering an M bumper and then getting an M badge to go with it. Pretty much. Yeah. But it does look really cool. It looks it amazing. Looks really, really, really I cool. just don't like that it's called F Sport because to non-enthusiasts, it's confusing. Because you tell them, oh, I have a RCF. They're like, cool, so do I. And then they show up with an RC350 F Sport. Okay, now let's get into the nitty gritty, but what makes this car good or bad? The looks make it amazing. Yeah. The suspension makes it terrible. Okay, I want to talk about more the driving experience to start off with. Fair enough. First thing, 20 rewinding satellite radio stations. Yeah, which is pretty impressive. It's pretty much the Camry infotainment, which is nice. But fancier. This has this weird trackpad to control it. It's got weird. good feedback, but it's weird. It is weird. You get used to it, but it's still not the best. But I will say that all you need to do is go to radio replay, and then you do your presets on the left and right, and all you need to do is click down to rewind. It's actually very convenient once you figure it out. And there's actually some cool feedback in this thing. It kind of like bumps up against your finger. It's as good as it can be for what it is because exactly. the infotainment doesn't have the climate control buried. It's right over here. And it's not a touch screen, so you have to use this thing. A volume knob, tuning knob, good feedback. And my favorite part is that the gimmicky temperature slider is actually easy to use. It's perfect, it goes really quick. I actually love it. I didn't think I would, but I do. My next favorite part of this car on the interior is the gauge. Oh yeah. I think it is also perfect. Okay, it's a circle in the middle. It's got your speedometer and a tack that goes around it. But it's got a physical bezel around the outside. Yeah. Everything is very clear. When you change modes, the line on the outside changes. And the best part is when you click this like menu button, it slides over to the right and the digital stuff slides with it. It's amazing. Like it's I don't, straight out of the LFA. I don't need to use anything on the left. Nothing is like really useful to me, so I just keep it in the normal one, but I like to show people. Exactly. Steering wheel's nice, buttons are in a good spot, paddles are nice, the shifter is up for up, down for down, which is the incorrect way, but like whatever. It's fine. Transmission, definitely not the best. It is a six speed. It shifts really slowly. Just leave it in auto. Don't expect to race this car or anything like that. Don't even bother with the paddle shifters. Yeah. You'll be very happy in just drive. And we've got normal, custom, eco, sport, and sport plus. Yes, the only thing I don't like is that if you push down to go to custom mode, you can't change your custom settings unless you're stopped. If you're like us, you don't need custom because Yo, you, go I to, do. you go to custom and it's just put everything into sport anyways. No, I like certain things in certain modes and exhaust always in the loudest mode, which you can't do on this car. 
Sticking with the interior, analog clock looks beautiful. My fiance doesn't know why analog clocks are in cars and she doesn't know why people think it's cool. Does she like watches? She doesn't get watches either. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I try to tell her. <laughs> I personally don't like watches either, but like, whatever. But you get it. You're, I get they're it. in cars and they look nice. I know Jacob gets excited. That's right. Um, Yo, I get a lot of shout outs for my Seiko SKX. We're not sponsored by them, but shout out Seiko. Yeah, sponsor Jacob. <laughs> and then give me the money for what the watch is worth. Yeah, exactly. I'll spend it on gas. Yeah, well, I'll probably spend it on gas and sell my watch at this rate. Okay, things I don't like. The number one thing is the turn signal stock. It is annoying. It's that new BMW style where you have to double click it. You have to like put click it and up cancel. and then it resets. And then you need to like cancel on a lane change by going to the opposite way. You can't go like to the same way to cancel it. And the most annoying part is that the wiper stock is also the same thing. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know what you're doing. Like, you know, in Kia, when you change the wipers of the lights, it shows you what's happening. Yes. This doesn't, so it's like, ah. Uh. I know, it's it's the weirdest annoyance, but I fully, I, I back you up on that. Okay, other interior stuff. Seats are super comfortable, very adjustable. Seats are very race car-like, but they're still very comfortable for grand touring on a highway trip. And then we've got a weird silver carbon fiber like we have in your Lexus ISF. Yeah, but it's a little different. This isn't actually carbon. This is like a hologram type thing. It looks weird. Yeah, I call it silver carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber. My Lexus ISF has silver carbon fiber. This does not. This oh. is like silver hologram fiber. Okay, next thing. Cup holder test. Small Perfect. cup. Perfect. Perfect. It's got those little like grips on the side. Yep, they definitely benchmarked that cup when they did this car. And besides that, there's no rear seat room to sit behind ourselves. Nothing. Not behind Yuri, not behind myself. Six foot one and a half, five foot eight and a half. Yeah, yeah, but yo, how cool does this car look? It looks amazing. Like really cool. Like really, really Pretty cool. Pretty much anything bad you say can be like, but it looks really cool. Exactly. Like if I wasn't into driving fast and like good handling cars, this would be perfect. You'd be so comfortable driving around in this all the time and people would think, damn, that guy's in a race car? We've got radar cruise. Lane keep assist is not actually assist, it's only passive. What should we talk about next, Jacob? You putting me on the spot? Yeah, yeah. The looks. Okay, looks. <laughs> Before it looks, let me just floor it. Not much going on, but pretty decent. Okay, after 5,000 RPM, everything turns red and it starts screaming. Yeah. Which I like. You have to drive it in the upper limit. And it sounds so good yeah. for what it is that I can't even imagine how good like an LFA or like an RCF is. Exactly. Probably just fantastic. Why do you think I bought my ISF? No, I get that, I get it. Anyways, back to looks. It looks stunning. Let's start with the front bumper. I love it. It looks insane. I, I love this cool big grill. I know people Futuristic. Were people were complaining about it, right? I, I know. It's scaring away older customers. Good. It's so good. Good. Old yeah. people, no. Because you know what? <laughs> I always thought Lexus was an old person company. It was. Okay, but what's the biggest problem with the front bumper? The front license plate. Ruins it. The wheels, not my favorite, but I do understand how they design them and where they're coming from, but they're still not my favorite. The way the taillights and stuff stick out, it's yeah. so cool. The taillights look amazing too. I think my favorite part about the body lines though, I went to a mall, the sunset reflecting on the body lines was perfect. You saw every little crevice. It was, and it was like look, nice yeah. orange over the blue, which is a very nice blue. Ultrasonic blue mica, that is the only option that we have on this car. $650, worth every penny. Rear end. Love it, looks crazy. I still do like the RCF rear end way more, obviously. I like those like Wolverine slash marks on the side. Yeah, the RCF does not have those. Coming to a red light, launch control. There is no launch control. No launch control. The most power it has is like right from the start. And then it kind of yeah. fizzles out. Everything after like 60, 70 is kind of really slow. But yeah. everything below that, I have no issues with. Pretty decent. I did own an IS350. Which you sold to the guy on Reddit. Yeah, yeah. yeah he posted the, what did he get? Shout out Sondrin. What did he get? He bought a R8 recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he still has the IS350. Shout out Shout Sondrin. Out. You're the man. I'm glad you're keeping that car and it's working out amazing for you. I want to drive now. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel at home, Jacob? This is very different from all of the Lexus's Lexi that I've owned. Lexi. You know what? A lot of these buttons from sitting in the passenger seat look the same as your other Lexus's. Yeah, which is kind of, it should be updated a little bit. It looks a little yeah, bit old if, in here. If it works, it works. It does work, and I like that there's physical buttons for everything. Heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. I do love that. Anyways, moving on, because I really don't care about that, the driving experience. Not very good if you try to push it. Like I said, you cannot think of this car like a sports car, or you will be massively disappointed. That is true. I took a, an on-ramp that I usually take with other cars, and this one felt like 
it was like squirrely wobbly like i'm like what is this car doing like if i took it for a test drive i would have been like eh. it does not inspire much confidence in its handling abilities no but it is all wheel drive so you could probably handle winter we got the worst snowstorm ever in april and i feel obliged to say that this car is a winter beast beast and with the increased <laughs> ride height in the front <sighs> it probably makes driving in snow a lot easier. Lexus has been doing that for a while. I don't know why. I don't get it. I don't like it, but it's there. So the front tire has a bigger gap than the rear tire. So it has a reverse rake. So rake is normally like this for like muscle cars. This has this. We recently drove the Challenger V6 GT all-wheel drive. You know what's the funniest part? We drove the all-wheel drive one, but I looked up the statistics for the non-all-wheel drive, so the rear-wheel drive V6. Yeah. Guess the weight difference between that V6 Challenger and this. The exact same? Three pounds. You don't look at this and it looks like Challenger weight, but it is. That's interesting. And that's the biggest problem that this car has is you can actually feel the weight when you throw it into corners. Yeah, but does it look really cool? It does. Like really cool. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but the weight, like you really feel it in this car. I haven't felt heavy weight in any other car as much as I do this car. Opposite Miata. This is the opposite of Miata. However, what it has similar to the Miata is the amount of body roll in every single direction. Yeah, it's a pretty it's bad. grand touring though. I know, so when you do push it, it's not the best because you get body roll left, right, and then when you step on the gas, your nose goes up, like it shoots up in the sky. Yo, dragster. <laughs> and then you hit the brakes and then you get nose dive. Anyways, suspension is just not well sorted. It is well sorted for comfort and grand touring. I've ranted about handling enough, but I haven't ranted on Cliché Corner, so I will now rant about the body roll around Cliché. And it's really bad, but you take it in comfort, you chill out, it's completely fine. Yeah, and with the muted speed, you don't really feel like handling really well. Exactly, you go over potholes, it's fantastic, I love it. Just don't send it too hard. Do you love it or do you really like it? It's not my favorite, but I do like a lot of things about it. Would I buy one of these? No. Would I buy the RCF? Perhaps. Would you buy anything realistically? No, I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I bought a 2001 Lexus GS430. Because we're journalists. That's right. <laughs> Yo, we have a Patreon. FYI. Yeah, yeah. Patreon.com slash straight pipes. Early shout out. We'll do anything for money. <laughs> Almost. Eh, maybe anything. Have you heard of my new iPhone game that I love? <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I got you. Okay, I've got something weird about this car. Of course you do. I went to read the instruction manual because I actually do do that. Leave a comment below if you do or do not read instruction manuals in your cars. I'll leave a comment, I do not. Okay, I reach for it and all we have is this little dinky one. I'm like, all right, I guess one of the other journalists stole it. I open the trunk and it's Velcroed to the rear seat, which is genius. It is genius. Because it doesn't get in the way of storage and I can actually use this for stuff. Back to the power, which I haven't talked about too much. It is completely adequate off the line. I do like it and it sounds good, especially in the upper RPMs, like I said, but anything beyond that, not the best. The one thing that I really do like about the power is how linear it is. It's just the exact same amount of power that you would expect through the RPM range. That is true. I love that. Every other company competing in the segment has pretty much gone turbo. This is one of the last naturally aspirated cars left. We've driven the BMW 440i and that's actually competition for this. Would you take that over the RC 350 price wise? Sport? Yeah, I know this no. looks better. This looks better, but like that, yeah, that outperforms was this way like no, oh. in every aspect except for rewinding satellite radios, which this does very well. But you know what? I'll say this much I signed up for satellite radio on a press car that didn't have it so I could activate the three months that was in the Mazda, and, and they don't stop calling me, they're like, <laughs> like all the time. And they don't, the thing is, they don't start by saying hello, you answer, and then it rings and puts you to someone. Shout out Sirius XM, sponsor us. Shout out, like, stop calling me. No Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. Welcome to Toyota, bruh. However, the new Corolla that they just announced, the hatch, has Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto, but it has Amazon Alexa. Come on, you give it Amazon Alexa, you don't give it Android Auto? This is, this is becoming a joke on me at this point. Yo. Wipe that damn smile <laughs> off your face. Better get an iPhone. I'm not getting an iPhone ever. No, I wouldn't blame you, man. These I days. actually, I had an iPhone. I went to the dark side before at like the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. Yeah. And then I went back to Android and I never left again. Yeah, I, I dabbled in Android for a day. I don't know, they're both like, they'll both get you. You're, yeah. You're pretty much screwed no matter what. So, uh, 
we should probably talk about the price. Hit me with it. Sixty-five thousand dollars Canadian. Canadian. Sixty-five thousand Canadian seems okay, I guess. You don't have any options to check. However, you can get an optional F Sport exhaust, which I do recommend. I mean, Lexus is higher end. It Every, looks nice. Everything in here is fancy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks amazing. Everything in here is fancy. If you want to stand out, looks yeah. wise, this is it. I probably think if you're an accountant, you could show up to meetings in this and get away with it. Yes. In this color. Yes. So if you actually bought this car, the 350F Sport, not the RCF, let us know why. And if you test drove the RCF and then bought the RC350, I really want to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> so leave a comment, notifications. Uh, Patreons. Patreons and subscribes. That's about it. That's all we got. And share the video with your friends. Share the video with your friends. That's our new thing. Yeah. To get more views. That's right. I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. If any fans out there want to edit us a new outro, find some royalty free music on YouTube playlist and we'll use that. Yeah, maybe. It has to be really good though, because our existing one is like really it can good. Be decent. Yeah. No, like really good. I expect perfection. I don't. I know. I don't expect anything. Let's see it. Send it to us, guys. <laughs> and we have Twitter.